Thank the maker you're here. That is the usual response whenever I arrive somewhere. <laughs> Look, I need you to help me because you said I would figure this out and I'm not figuring it out. I don't know how to make coffee and maybe if I call Cullen, I can have my old job back. Woo! Okay, here's the dealio, little brother. I need you to need this job and you're gonna stay in this job because I need you to do something for somebody else for once in your miserable little life. And that means you're gonna stay here in this job for you, for me, for also for you. I have no idea what you just said to me. Excellent. So, I'm gonna do you a favor by ordering a drink. Good, good. And also, I expect it to be free being your big brother and you're working here, so this is for me, for you, for me, yes? What do you want? Very simple. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. I will have a grande vente mocha frappuccino with an extra shot of espresso, two shots of caramel with a chilled shot of hazelnut. Do you, do you smell something burning? Are you having a stroke? No, that would smell like toast. This smells like... Potatoes! Yes, at least 500, please. I know, we've been so busy, I just want to anticipate demand. No, no thank you very much. Yes. Yes, 500. 500. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go check on my staff now. I'm the proper businesswoman. <laughs> okay, you have a wonderful day. Uh, it's Carver. Hi. Hi! How's it going? Yes, it's good. I'm just making a coffee for, uh... Oh, hello, Hawk! Garrett. Um... Oh, it's alright. This comes out of my wages for my brother, right? Oh, wages! Oh, um, that's probably something I should sort out, isn't it? Yeah. What, what are the wages here? Oh! Oh, it's all go here today, isn't it? you owe me a drink. We could do drinks whenever you want. Give me your phone number and I'll arrange a wine tasting all night next week. I'll see you. More than anything, I just want this moment to be over. Actually, how about this? I give you my number. Excellent. And you don't talk to me for the rest of the day. Ooh. And you get me a tea for the one you tipped over the table yesterday. Deal. Order whatever you want, and tell them to put it on my tab. I have to go make a business call. I will be right with you, I'm just making Garrett's drink. The hell's a Garrett? My brother, that you were just talking to, with the big ugly beard. Oh, the douche with the bit. Yeah, that's him. He has ordered a venti grandi mochaccino extra shot chilled hazelnut. Okay, I have a confession to make. I have no idea how to make coffee. Soy shots. Three shots. It's very easy to make. Wait, you know how to make coffee? Of course I know how to make coffee. It's all I did when I was a slave. You were a slave? Yes. The days I'd prefer to forget. Terrible dark days. When you say you're fine, but you're not really fine. You have an endless queue of people all day, just wanting more and more and more, just craving, constantly consuming you. And every night you go to bed and you think, when is this going to end? When am I going to get an end to this? And it just, it never ends. I'm so sorry, that is awful. Who did this to you? Starbucks. Oh. Huh. Anyway, this is a super easy order to make. Do you smell burning? Yes, it's not just me. It kind of smells like- VICTORY! Yes, I am smashing it out the park tonight! Yes! 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 Yes. Well, 
Well, time to collect my victory drink. No, not 500 potatoes, 500 boxes of potatoes. Yeah, yeah. And that's it? That's it. <coughs> Amazing. Right, we've got a venti grande mochaccino latte. For Garrett. <gasps> I had no idea you worked here. He doesn't. Fenris was just helping. Quiet, me. nerd. Today is your lucky day. As the manager of this establishment. He isn't. You're hired. Excuse me, I'm just gonna take a minute. No, don't leave me alone with Meryl. you. Shh. Oh, really? the nicest thing that anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hi. Hi, Coleslaw. It's Carver. <laughs> they just said that I was their best customer. <laughs> That's really great. Mm. But Garrett's just declared himself general manager. What? Yeah. So the perks. You'll be working underneath me all day, every day. I will ride you hard to make sure you get your work done correctly. I think you should do something about this. Oh. I suppose I should, shouldn't I? Yeah. I'm the owner. I get to put my foot down sometimes. Exactly. Also, there is a bonus scheme, but that will come later. Right. Hmm. How do I look? Amazing. I was trying to be intimidating. Oh, um, scary. Absolutely terrifying. You could step on me. Hmm. Right. Off I go. Victory sip. Oh, Drasty's knickers are hot. Hawk! Meryl. I cannot believe you've done this without telling me first. I'm so excited, I can't believe it. I've always wanted a manager. You're welcome. No. You're so thoughtful. I am, aren't I? So, as the manager of this establishment, a favour to my dear friend Meryl, oh. I'm going to call the very first staff meeting. Come sit down with me. Go on. Go, 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 go. Wondering why I've gathered you all here today. Not really. Oh, I know. Meryl. We're having a staff meeting. Correct. Three points to you. Are we having a point system? Yes, we're having a point system. Keep up, Carver. Uh. Anyway, that will be my first decree as general manager. Wait, no. Hold that thought. My second decree. I will no longer be known as general manager. From here on out, I am. Champion of Kirkwall Coffee. What? Hmm. And my third decree will be that Wednesdays are now known as Sexy Wednesdays. I'm sorry to interrupt you when you're in such a role. Fenris. I can definitely smell burning. Thank you. Maybe it's the burning love that is between us. No! I think it's a potato machine. What? I turned it on when I moved in a week ago. Potatoes must be ready by now. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to do. What, what, what do we do? What do we do? What do, we do? Oh, in this quiet, thing? nerds. The champion of Kirkwall Coffee has this. Just put that over your face. I don't know if you've got any stitches. It's probably going to scar. Uh, but you're lucky it only burned the coffee off your face. Yeah. Could have got my beard. <laughs> how do you know how to do this? I was in the army. When? <sighs> just forget it. I'm just glad you're okay. Don't know what I'd do without my big brother. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. Oh, and whilst I've got you, mm -hmm. Could I have my phone back? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, there you go. Thank you. No worries. Uh, I will leave you two alone. I'll go help my mom. Generous. Walk. Meryl, I came oh. as soon as I heard. Oh, Adeline! Are you alright? What happened? It was the potato machine. It exploded, like the chantry. Wait, you have employees? Yeah, 
I've got a manager, and I've got two barristers. Baristas. My name's not Barry Carver. Maker. What, you can make coffee? John? I'm just going to go put your insurance paperwork in the back, okay? Okay. You just need to sign it. Oh, I will. Thank you very much. You really took one for the team. Yeah, well, we have to look after my staff. I'm general manager after all. Uh, I think you'll find your champion of Coke or coffee. You know, it looks kind of badass. Yeah. Mm, shame like about it. the beard, though. What's wrong with my beard? I should have burnt off. <laughs> Are you still up for wine? Definitely. Good. Going to need it. Aveline! No, no, come back, I can explain. So, what next? I don't know. Um, but it can't get any worse than this, can it? <laughs> I'm sure you're right, Meryl. I'm sure you're right. <laughs>